On a very windy Saturday in November 2011, a group of Spices Papers staff and families travelled with Greening Australia scientists to join in planting trees as part of the carbon capture project being conducted in central Tasmania. The field day was a hands-on event where Spices Papers staff and their families learned about how re-establishing an ecosystem is the most effective way of capturing carbon at the same time as connecting remnant plant communities. The field day involved travelling from Hobart to the property Dung Grove, just outside the historic central highlands town of Bothwell. Dung Grove has been in the Downey family since the early 1800s and extends over 3,000 hectares. Like many properties in Tasmania, some of the clearing undertaken in the early to mid 20th century didn't produce the type of productive land that the Downey family had hoped for. So in 2008, the current owner, Peter Downey, decided that it was time to reconnect the remnant forests by planting new trees. Peter turned to Greening Australia Tasmania for help in re-establishing ecosystems that will increase biodiversity and capture carbon efficiently. Greening Australia Tasmania entered a partnership with the University of Tasmania School of Plant Science to start a long-term experiment with the aim of understanding the factors that affect the establishment of a plant community. The project involves farmers placing covenants on their land for over 100 years and 30,000 individual plants being planted a huge commitment in anyone's language, but the rewards in terms of knowledge will be huge. Spices Paper and Lancare Australia Limited have contributed to the development of the project through sponsorship of the Family Day and the planting of additional native trees and shrubs. Greening Australia Tasmania CEO Jonathan Duddles explains. We're here today as, uh, with a group of people planting native trees and shrubs uh, to reconnect parts of the landscape. There's a, 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 some bush up on the hill over there and we're trying to connect that patch of bush which is a nature reserve with us, other patches of vegetation on this farm that are protected for conservation purposes. And the idea is to be able to connect these patches up so that plants and animals can move uh, between the two patches. We're trying to figure out how to restore these degraded landscapes and make them better. While it may look like a regular eucalypt plantation, the experiment is much more. It's a partnership with the aim of eventually developing a set of tools that can be used to efficiently restore ecosystems and grow carbon elsewhere in Southeast Australia. Tasmanian Regional Manager for Spices Paper, Adam Colgrave, explains why Spices Paper is committed to the project. Part of our sponsorship uh, arrangement with Landcare, uh, we've got a, one of our product lines, we, we supply money per tonne of product to Landcare, which then gets distributed and to put on days like today. From Spices' perspective, we let our customers know that we're doing this and then subsequently they let their customers know and word spreads and we lose the bad image that the paper industry has and, and paper mills. Customer service manager John Banks reiterates that it's just as important for Spices Paper to learn about greening Australia as it is the environment. It's more than just planting trees, it's about the ecology of, of the land really and like making the existing native wildlife or like with the corridors and, and all those just keeping it together I suppose. Yeah. Being a paper merchant, you do have a, uh, I suppose, a stigma of, of chopping trees down. But we do have an ongoing relationship with Grinning Australia with one of our papers. For a certain amount that gets sold, we um, donate to Grinning Australia. So we come along to help uh, to show our support. But it's Australia-wide as well, not just Tasmania. So. I mean, a few years ago, everything was had to be recycled. But um, nowadays, it's not just recycled. It's It's got to be you know, from the, from the set go of, of, you know, it's green all the way. I mean, like, um, that's where the FFC comes into it. It's not just, you know, having recycled paper is good, but you've got to be able to, you know, from, this, from where the trees are looked after all the way through the custodian, all the way down to the, to the end user. So 
And yeah, we find a lot of people are more in interested in that than just having a recycled content anymore. The day was educational, but also fun, as Ryan Griffin Tyler says. We're learning how to plant um, trees and helping the environment. We are actually learning quite a lot. It's still actually pretty fun. The field day proved that education and involvement in science isn't just for students and researchers. It's something that everyone can get involved in. In fact, it's through events such as this that business people, their families and contacts can have a hands-on experience of science.